All right, so what you're watching here is me trying out a brand new mic. I had an issue with a previous pawn hopping mission that I did where my microphone was messing up everything. It was cutting out in the in and footage. So what I did was I had bought a new mic, made a new system, set it up, got a new windscreen, everything. And uh, I'm not sure if it didn't plug in right or if it just wasn't set up right. But uh, as you can see, I'm talking and nothing's coming out. I have this absolutely hilarious situation where I'm telling you that I'm hanging out with my buddy, Winston. It's my, my co-angler for the day. It's my dog. And uh, I ask him how he's go doing, and he obviously doesn't say anything, stares at me. I say good talk. My joke would have been funny, but because the microphone wasn't working, it was not. So I'm just going to cut right to the re regular footage, but this was the second day of practice. All right, here we are. First thing is a Strike King um, one knocker. It's in a sexy shad pattern, a rattle trap. I just want to see if I can get them up shallow or not. Winston, no, 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 buddy. Over here. There's a little one. What is that? Molly. That's a bad sign because we never like a first cast fish. It's bad luck. And he also got all the hooks in him. Here you go, bud. What's that? What's that? Oh, fishy? Winston loves fishies. <laughs> what? You want to see it go? Here, look it. Just in case this is my only fish for the day, guys. <laughs> First cast, bad luck, guys. I do not like that. There's another one. Oh my gosh, I lost it. Oh, that was a better fish. Look, I did pick it up. What well, is that guy out there? Little Smalley. Little Smalley. So there's a ton of bait below us here. Um, let me show you this bait. You can see that bait. I hope it shows up on camera real well. That dark red is all bait here. Bottom's at 23, and there's bait, three foot of bait there. But this smallie is down there just chewing on it. He was only small, but he picked up that Ned rig just being drugged behind the boat, basically. Um, I was just letting it sit here. And uh, while I brought this back in here, but. I was basically just dead sticking it and that small eye came up and grabbed it. Oh my gosh, he must have hit it on the way down. Oh my gosh, it's a good smallie. I was letting my, I was letting my rattle trap drop and this guy cranked it on the way down. Oh, it's not that good of a smallie, but It's 
it's fish number two, guys, on that red eye. Sorry about the mic. Um, that red eyed shad by Strike King. So that's not a bad smolly. I mean, that means they're eating. He was out in 25 feet of water and I had to let it drop all the way to the ground. This could be a good fish, guys. I think this is a good fish. Oh no, little guy, little guy, little guy, little guy. All right guys, another little smallie came on a Sanko by the dock. Um, kind of trying to juggle a couple things here and see what's going on. I was trying to get a different colored, different colored Sanko out because I thought that my, my uh, light colored Sanko wasn't working and then that guy picked it up, so I could be wrong. You're a good boy. Good boy, yeah. Yeah, you're a good boy. It's a good fish, guys, if I can get him to come up. It's a real good fish. It's a largey. <sighs> Gotta get this guy back in the water pretty quickly, but he's bleeding. Um, not a bad fish, considering I just gotta clean up the blood, but I wanna get him back quick because he was bleeding a little bit. Got him deep. Perfect skip if he's back there. He is back there. Just little, little. Oh, it was a rock bass. Never mind. So he wasn't back there. But that was a good skip. There's another good one. Let's see if he takes it. All I'm doing now is I'm waiting to see if this line jumps or moves. Now the eye, the line's coming tight, but I'm the boat's tip is drifting away from the bank. So I'm just gonna check it, put a little pressure on it, see if he's there. If he's not there, I'm gonna let it go. What I'm doing here, guys, is fishing the gaps and then skipping the docks. I want to see if I can find them under there again a lot, like heavy, big ones. But I don't think I can. I think these buck bass are still up here shallow, which is what I'm finding under the docks. Male bass, guarding fry. And then, oops, little bite there. And then I am fishing this open area with a rattle trap in between. Um, I've got about three or four more docks that I can do this on and then I get to a big grass flat Now the last time we were here. We didn't stop over there So I'm not sure if the grass is even there or not, but I'm gonna give it a shot and see Oh Little guy That's a rocky I think just had my tail. Yeah, I had to have been. Now I'm marking some out here in 17. There's one. That isn't that largey. Winston just ducks out of the way. <laughs> oh, what a good boy. Oh, bud. Hey, check it out. It's a largey. Two and a half pounds, buddy. That's a good fish. Wanna see him go? Here he goes. There he goes. It's not a bad fish, guys. They're still on that. Watch out, buddy. There you go. Good boy. 
Still some on that dock pattern, but not as many as there were. Although I'm getting largies in this deep section, which is habitually a smally spot, which is interesting to say the least. Come on down there, good boy. Good boy. This is how my travel, my travel companion travels. <laughs> Come on, get up here. Oh, jeez. Good boy, watch out. Okay. Good boy. So, second spot here. Um, out in front of me is a big flat here. Uh, it comes way out. So, like, this bank is slow sloping. So is the water underneath it. So, I'm in 25 right now, but... I'm gonna work these docks here a little bit and then I will keep on moving. What I just tied on is a green pumpkin jig with a black 2.8 Kitek trailer tail. I want that, again, that dark patterning, that, uh, that dark bluegill, whatever they're feeding up on right now. That's what I'm looking to, lip, looking to mimic right here. Oh my gosh. That's a better fish. That's a three pounder all day. It broke off that, uh, I got snagged, hung up. It busted loose and when it busted loose, he slapped it. Man, that's a nice fish. Not bad at all, guys. Came on that little jig, green pumpkin jig, Kitek jig with a black trailer tail. All right, everyone. Well, that's the end of this video. Um, that was day two of practice. Turned out okay. I got him on a rattle trap to start. Um, could not replicate that later on. So I got a couple smallies that were up shallow. One that was real deep. Uh, he picked it up on the way down. And then I just kind of followed up from there. I transitioned to a Ned rig, got a couple on a Ned rig, started skipping docks, got a couple on skipping docks. So, I mean, really it's post spawn. So it's sort of like junk fishing at this point. It's not always going to be patterned. It's not always going to be everything you need it to be. So uh, all in all, I think I got five fish for 12 pounds. I got one Nice large jig. I hope I got it on camera on a jig. It's um, like three pounds ish on a Kitek jig with a black Kitek 3.3 on the back or 2.8, one or the other. But anyway, um, that's the practice video. This will go up after the tournament's over. So wish us the best of luck. Uh, tournament is tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And if you can, hit that subscribe button. And, and then, other than that, just roll that music.